everyone! It's Jules World here. How is everyone doing? Today I have a very special video of a violin tutorial and it is how to hold a bow properly. When you're learning to play the violin for the first time, it is very important that you practice how to hold your bow with your right hand first. This has to be done even before you start holding your violin on your left side. So I'm going to take you step by step on how to hold your bow properly. The very first thing to do when you're holding your bow is to bend your thumb. This might be a little challenging at first, but the reason why we have to bend our thumb is because we need to be able to adjust the angle of our bow very, very sensitively. If your thumb is straight, the only way you can adjust the angle of the bow is by using your wrist. But if your thumb is bent, you can even change the bow angle by bending and straightening your right thumb. So, after you bend your right thumb, you have to bring it to the inner part of this frog. Okay, I forgot to go over each part of the bow before. So let me first go over each part of the bow before I go further on how to hold the bow. The bottom part, which is this part, is called a frog. And I can't stress enough how important it is to be able to play well in the lower part of the bow. So I'll talk about that more later on. But for now, let's learn what this part of the bow is called. It's called a tip. So tip, frog, and the middle, of course. For now, we'll just remember tip, frog, and middle. Since this part is called a frog, let's bend the thumb and bring the corner of your thumbnail, which is actually, if you're looking at your thumbnail, the right angle of your thumbnail will be the one that's touching the frog. Let's bring it over to the frog and on the frog, it's actually this part that you'll be putting the thumb onto. Not down here, not in the hole right here, but you will have the thumb, the corner of your thumbnail right here between the leather and the frog. To be exact, it will be on this corner of the frog. It might feel very unstable at first, so let's see. Just like this. Can you see my thumb? This corner of my thumb touching this part of the frog. So that's where your thumb will be. And you have to make sure that the thumb is a little tilted like that. not straight like this but tilted so the corner this corner is touching the frog now let's look at all other fingers you have four fingers here and they each have their own places for your index finger it has to go on the leather and it's from this joint to that joint that touches the leather part. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. The length of everybody's fingers and their hand shapes are different. So you have to find your own comfortable spot. And for me, that is about there. And I will keep my thumb right there, just, a, just like I mentioned. And it'll look like this from the other side. And it's bent as you can see, right? And the index finger will go on the leather. But you have to make sure not to hook it, okay? So try not to hook it, but just rest it 
very very gently on the leather part. For the middle finger, it actually has to come down and cover this U-shaped thing. So I'm gonna cover it like this and try to have the tip of your finger touch the metal part. Okay? So when you're when it comes to holding your bow, actually the most important fingers are these two. You can't even hold a bow without all other fingers. All other fingers are actually there to balance. But these two are doing the main work. Okay? So this is resting here. You can go a little up to to this coiled part as well, but still try to keep it a little closer to the leather part so it doesn't go all the way up there. Now, this finger, actually think of it as covering that circle right here. So for this one, leather, this one covers that U-shaped thing and also the metal part right here. Although you don't need to really grab it, you can just rest it on top, sort of. And for this finger, you'll cover the circle. And for the pinky, actually, you know what? The pinky is very, very important when it comes to balancing your bow. Your pinky will be curved like this. Not too much, just generally curved. And then will be placed like this. So this will be the right kind of shape for your bow hand. And now, and of course your thumb is bent like this. It's actually a little tricky to know where your pinky is supposed to be. Do you see how your bow is angled like this, right? And this has to go not on top of that angle, but on this angle. So this pinky is sort of pushing the bow away, but not completely. So the pinky and the middle finger and the thumb are sort of pushing against each other. Can you understand that? Pushing against each other. And that's what keeps the bow straight. Let's hold the bow like this with your bent thumb for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And you can maybe feel the muscle on this part of your hand. And I actually do have very strong muscle on this side of my bow hand because I developed it over many, many years. But you need to develop that muscle because later on, you will not only be using your wrist, but also all your fingers. So you can make very, very subtle adjustments when you are playing. So today we went over how to hold the bow properly and how to place each finger on the bow. Please let me know how your practice went and I will be happy to give you feedbacks if you leave your comments below. Thank you so much and hope to see you at the next lesson. Bye-bye!